Welcome back to FYI in your community today on Mondays. We're at Core Fitness and we're back with Christy Book, one of the owners here, and we're talking about strength training and stretching, right? Correct. Stretching is, is a very important part of your routine. Um, you should always end your routine, anything that you do with some very light stretching. Um, while the muscle is warm, it's important to bring it back to the length so that you, you're not super sore the next day. Okay. And again, the nice thing I like about what you're showing everyone is that you can do this at home. So if you don't feel comfortable coming to a gym or you're just starting out or you think you're too busy, this is something you can do right before you go to bed, in the morning, at any time that you have that's convenient for you. Now, Core Fitness is exclusive women only, which is awesome because some women don't like working out with men and women tend to work out differently than men do. Sure. So again, you could do all these exercises at yeah. home, which we're going to see. Men do tend to skip the stretching part of it. You know, of not course. to call you out, guys, but sometimes you do. Um, we, we like to stretch at the end. It it's kind of decompresses your mind, and it also gets that muscle back to length. Okay. So as we get older, we're, we keep our flexibility. So um, if you just have a wall, okay, and you wanted to stretch your chest, you could just place your hand there and kind of turn out so that you're going to feel a stretch right across the frontal deltoid into the chest muscles, keeping your abs tight, and you always want to remember to breathe through the stretch. Stretching should never be uncomfortable. So you want to get to the point where you feel the stretch, the end of the stretch, and you're going to hold it maybe 20 to 30 seconds and then do it on the opposite side because you have two sides to everything. Okay. I was just going to ask you that when you do the stretching sometimes you can overexert and that yeah. you can actually hurt yourself while you're stretching. Right. So you don't want to go to the point of extreme pain. You just want to feel a nice easy stretch right. on your arm or And your there's leg. different types of stretching too. I mean sometimes I'll see, see people bouncing through a stretch. That's called ballistic stretching and it's, it's a type of stretching but you have to be kind of knowledgeable um, and, and really listen to your body in that type of stretching. So I recommend more of a static stretching, which is where you hold and you breathe through. Okay. Um, what I do want to point out is that when you're stretching, you have hinge joints on your elbows and your knees. I see this a lot, pushing down right here, okay? You have a hinge joint on your knee. It only goes one way. When you're pushing on your thigh, you're pushing that hinge joint the wrong way. So always put your hand to the opposite side, okay? And that's where you hold your stretch. And the same thing, I'll see this pushing on this joint, right? So pull on your wrist away to the wall and then stretch through the shoulder. Okay. Okay. Other stretches that um, we can do at We home? can use a mat to stretch. You can sit down on the floor. Um, you can do your forward bends, just your regular forward bends, just uh, stretch your hamstrings. And also a lot of pain through the lower back with women. So you can come down on your ball if you have one of these and just kind of fold forward and that's gonna decompress your vertebra. Okay, so we talked about that in the last I love segment. The ball. All right, um, we've been giving away one week passes uh, if people want to uh, participate and find out what Core Fitness is all about. So watch for Twitter Tuesdays and Facebook Fridays right here on SSP TV.